शुक्लां ब्रह्म विचार सार परमात्म जगत व्यापिनी वीणा पुस्तकधारिणी मृता झाट्यांधकारापहा हस्ते स्फाटिक मालिका विजती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदे तां परमेश्वरी भक्ति प्रदा शारदा दत्वा सरस्वती देवी शुक्ता गुण्यां करो पाणिनीय प्रवेशाय सिद्धांत कौधी so we are looking at uh, sutra and finish this yeah eng of padanta nati so we yeah. so we looked at uh, the last sutra we looked at antadivacha antadivacha said the ekadesha if there is a single adesha for two when there are multiple sthanis two sthanis then the adesha ekadesha that single adesha will it be part of the earlier or the later so there it is said it will be the antavat for the purva pura rupa and adivat for the para rupa so for both it is a part of both and thereby we applied the earlier sutra example which said om angoscha om angoscha in that the second example which was shiva ehi there ang is not following if you see shiva ehi so you calling shiva come over he shiva come over ehi that a purvaka ang purvaka ehi there ang is present even in a because a was an adesha by guna between a and e there was a guna adesha which was a eka ekadesha and ekadesha ekara that a a is antavat for a and it is adivat for e therefore a is a part of a and thereby we applied the sutra om angoscha which said angi cha pare om angi cha pare at pare so om angi cha at pare para rupam ekadesha syat and thereby para rupa is here a a plus e so that a itself is re- replacing both the akara earlier akara and the ekara so you get shivehi the next sutra is akasavarne dirgah so akasavarne dirgah common sutra most of you are already aware of it akasavarne is a savarna dirgah sandhi in short it is called savarna dirgah sandhi akah savarne dirgah so savarne savarne para akah akah shashti ek vachana shashti ek vachana saptami ek vachana savarne dirgah is the adesha so for an ak pratyahara letter ak includes what a includes a u and r r so a e u r and r and a e u r r r they themselves stand for their savarnas so whenever a savarna for a letter follows meaning if there is an a a as in akara or akara or akara as the pura rupa and para rupa also can be a a or a then there is a savarna dirgha sandhi and dirgha is what dvimatrika so a sandhi between a hrasva dirgha or a pluta with its savarna hrasva dirgha or pluta is dirgha whether it is a e u r or r dvritti says akas savarne achi pare purva parayoho dirgha ekadesha syat the singala ekadesha puro parayo for both the earlier and the later there is a single adesha and what is that that is dirgha dirgha ekadesha syat examples example is daitya just a second
<coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> so, Daitya, uh, not Daitya, I think this uh, example is wrong. I mean, uh, not an example is wrong, it's a, uh, it's a typo there. Let me look at Daityanam uh, Pali here, I think this. So Daityarihi. Daityarihi is the example. Or Daityaraha. <coughs> so Daityana Arihi. Daityana Arihi is a samasa. There is Shasti Tatpurusha. Daityana Arihi or yeah, Daityana Arihi. <coughs> So, Ari is a, is a Shatru, Shatru of whom? Of Daitya, of Rakshasas, Arihi, and Samasa will be what now, when you make the Samasa, Daitya plus the Ampratya, Ampratya is the Supratya, Shashti, Bhavachana, and then Ari, Shabda, plus the Supratya, here, the su, Supratya. This will get a Pratipadika Sanya by Krita uh, Dita Samasascha and Adhisa uh, Anurthya Pratipadika. So this will be Pratipadika. This entire thing will be Pratipadika. Thereby, then there will be, <coughs> I'm sorry, and thereby there will be uh, Supluk. So within a Pratipadika, Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho. Look. So Supodhatu Pratipadika. Sup will undergo look. Sup as in Supratya. Within a dhatu and within a pratipadika, that is am and su being a pratipadika, this entire thing is a pratipadika because it is a samasa. And therefore, within the pratipadika, whatever su pratyas are there, they'll undergo look. So I'll I'll not mention this all the time, but sometimes it's good to refresh. And then arihi. So you will be left with daiti and ari. Now what is the samasa, uh, sorry, what is the sandhi between daitya and arihi? So there daitya, dait, a, uh, this akara and a, uh, rihi. So this akara and akara, akara here and akara here both are, have savarnim. Therefore, there is a dirgha and dirgha for them is, both of them dirgha ekadesha and that is daiti. A Rihi and then therefore you get Daitya Rihi right? and then you add a Supratya to decline you will get Daitya Rihi <coughs> Shri Shaha sorry <coughs> I'm sorry just a second let me mute Suddenly, there's a lot of cough. So, Shrisha also saying, Shri is Lakshmi. So, Isha of, uh, so this is not a Shrishi, he Shrisha. So, this is Shrisha. Shri and Isha, you will get. So, Vishnu, Shrisha. See, Daityari is also Vishnu. And here also, Shrisha. Shrisha is also Vishnu. So, Shri and Isha in a Samasa. Isha of Shri. Isha Ishwara of Lakshmi. So, Lakshmi Pati. That is the meaning here. So, Shri is what? This Dirga Ikara is there. And there is a Dirga Ikara following, which is Savarn, has Savarnam with this Ikara. So, both of these are replaced by single Dirga Adesha, Ekadesha. So, you get Shri. Shah. Then, Vishnu Udaya. So Vishnu Udaya example is taken here. Vishnu is also seen as Surya. So Surya Udaya. Vishnu, Surya is Sakshat, uh, uh, Sakshat Vishnu. He is uh, Sakshat Narayana. Surya Narayana we say. So Vishnu 
Narayana and Vishnu are same and Surya is also Narayana. Therefore, Vishnu Udaya can be seen as Surya Udaya also. Here it is a Vishnu Udaya. Vishnu and Udaya. When you put them together in a Samasa, Shashti Tatpurusha again, Vishnu Ho Udaya. You will get what? Vishnu U here and this U Udaya. Both will have Savarna uh, Dirga Sandhi. So you get Vishnu Daya. Dirga, Vishnu, U, and then Daya. This is the Ekadesha. Khotir Karaha. So uh, uh, there are very few words starting with Ru. And it didn't fit uh, as an example with ho, to ho. So ho to ho, ho to ho, rukara. This is how the samasa is. Rukara, the rukara, the way uh, you can say that the way rukara is pronounced by a hota. Hota is the one who makes offering oblations into the uh, vedagni in the during the ritual. Ahuti. So ho to ho, rukara, shakti tat purusha. Will we, you'll get what? Ho through. You'll get ho through here. And Rukaraha, which is plus Su. In the end, you will add Su. So, Hothra Rukaraha, Hoth, Ru, and then there is a Ru here, Karaha. Both of these are replaced by Dirha. So, you will get Ru, single Adesha. Ekadesha Hotru Karaha. Likara example is not taken, but you can say again say Hotru Li Karaha okay, and make some, some samas out of, uh, out of it and then make a Sandhi. Example is not given by Lagukara. Next Sandhi is Enga Padanta Dati. Enga Padanta Ati Enga Ha Shasti Ekochana Padanta Ati Padanta is Panchami Ekochana and Ati is Saptami Ekochana Enga Padanta Ati So Ati Ati Pare Ati is Tapara Karnam is done for Akara for A therefore A stands for Hraswa Akara it's a Akara when an Akara <coughs> follows Akara follows means what? When an Akaradi follows, something should be Akaradi. Or you can say Akara follows, you, you skip the rest of the word, but it, it will be an Akaradi word. And that a, when it follows, Akara, at follows, follows what? Follows Eng. Engaha. So uh, just a second, let me cross check. Enga Padanta Dhati. So not Engaha is not Shashti Kochana, I'm sorry. Is it? Uh, yeah, it is Shashti Ekochana. <coughs> so Padanta is Panchami, but uh, here what is done is Enga Padanta Dati. Just a second, please. <coughs> no, it is Panchami Ekochana. So uh, Padanta is there, so it is Panchami Ekochana. I'm sorry. So Enga Padanta Dati. Uh, at which, because it is um, Ekadesha. So here, what did I do earlier? Here also, Akasavarne Dirgha. In Akasavarne Dirgha also, I made a mistake there as well. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Here also, it is Panchami. It, it can't be Shashti because it's Ekadesha. Here also, it is Panchami. Akasavarne Dirgha. Panchami and Shashti, the forms are same, but uh, this has to be Panchami because uh, the Adesha is not for Ak. Adesha is not for ak letter. Adesha is Ekadesha. I didn't write the Anurutis here. Ekadesha syat puro parayu. Therefore, ak as well as uh, the following Savarna ak. Ak and Savarna ak both are replaced. Therefore, it has to be Panchami here, which says uh, Panchami is directional. It's saying that ak is purva. And Savarna Ak when it follows, 
this is Saptami, then both are replaced by Ekadesha. <coughs> Eng is also like that. Eng of Padantati, when an Eng letter precedes an At, precedes an Akara, then both of these. And which kind of an Eng? See, Eng is Panchami Ekvachana, Padantati is also Panchami Ekvachana. Therefore, Enganta, that Padanta, Padantat Engaha, that Eng which is at the end of Padanta, when it is followed by an At letter, then both are replaced with what? This is said here, Padantad Ingaha Atipare, when a, a single, uh, when a uh, Raswa Akara follows, then Purva Rupam Ekadesha. Here what? Purva Rupam. Ekadesha Sya. What is the Ekadesha? Earlier, here it was Dirga. Dirga was said in this sutra. Akasavarne Dirga said that it is a Dirga Adesha. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> but here Inga Padantad Ati says what? It says the Adesha, Adesha is what? It is Padanta Denga Atipare Purva Rupam. So Purva Rupam, there is an Anurti from earlier Sutra. This Purva Rupam is the Adesha. The Adesha is not given here. Adesha is not given here. It is just uh, the condition is given. Enga Padanta Dati and through Anurti you get a Purva Rupa Adesha. Purva Rupa is the earlier. So Eng will be the, when At follows Eng, then Eng is the Adesha for both Eng and At, for both. Examples are given here. <coughs> he Hare Hava. So He Hare, Hare is a Sambodhana. He Hare Hava. When this, this is At, A and Har A. For both A, A is part of Aing. Both are replaced by what? Her Purva Rupa. Purva Rupa is A, therefore A is, a, is an Adesha, is, an, is the Ekadesha. So, Raksha, Avarakshane. Dhatu is Avarakshane, Lut Lakara, Madhya Purusha Ekvachana. Oh Hari, please protect me. <coughs> so, so Ava, you will get. Hara <coughs> I'm sorry. So you'll get Hareva. There is an Avagraha in prints, but you can't pronounce an Avagraha. Avagraha is just a marking, so I'll remove that. Preferably use Hareva. See, otherwise what happens is a tendency. Most of uh, what we hear Hare Ava, the people pronounce this as Hare Ava. Hare Ava is okay if you are not making the Sandhi. But when you make the Sandhi, especially in a, uh, in a Shloka Ityadi, there Sandhi is mandatory. And when you do the Sandhi, still people say what? Hare Ava. Hare Ava, a slight Akara is heard here, that is not right. So you, I'll write it without. So it is Hare Ava. It is Hareva, it is not Hare Ava, it is not Hareva, it is Hare Hareva. It has to be pronounced together Hareva. Similarly, Vishnu, He Vishnu, He Vishnu Ava. Same thing here, Vishnu Ava. O Vishnu, protect me. So, He Vishnu. O, Okara is here and then Akara is there, Va, Ava, Lot Lakara, Ava Rakshani, Ava, Madhya Purusha, Ek Vachana. You will get Vishnu, O, O is the Purva Rupa, so you will get O as a single Adesha for both and thereby you will get Vishnu. So that is the example. Next sutra says Sarvatra Vibhasha Goho. Sarvatra Vibhasha Goho. What does it say? Sarvatra. Everywhere. <coughs> what does everywhere mean? Sarvatra is an avyaya. Vibhasha 
विभाषा गो There is no visarga here. I don't know why visarga is there. There is no visarga. Vivasha, vivasha, go ho. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Anuvrti. Okay. Anyway, so go ho. Uh, <coughs> सर्वत्र विभाषा गो हो ओके जस्ट चेकिंग वेदर हाउ इट इज मेन्शन इन दी अदर पाठा आई सॉ विसर्ग हियर वाई आई डोंट नो लेट मी चेक अनदर बुक मेक श्युअर सो वॉट हेपन सर फ्रॉम एंग ऑफ पदांता जी सो इफ यू लुक एट दी सूत्र पाठा दी सूत्र नंबर दैट यू लुक एट सिक्स वन वन ट्वेंटी टू या सो सर्वत्र विभाषा गो हो देर इज एन अनुवृत्ति फ्रॉम एंग ऑफ पदांता अति सो फ्रॉम एंग ऑफ पदांता अति सी एंग ऑफ पदांता अति दिस सूत्र देर इज एन अनुवृत्ति ऑफ एंग अति दे गो टील वॉट हंड्रेड एंड टेन हियर एंग गो बट पदांता देर इज नो मार्किंग हियर लेटमी चेक अदर बुक अति पदांता अति Okay. There is uh, yeah, this one hundred and ten is wrong here. There is this goes till one twenty two. So this this is uh, this is wrong. It goes till one twenty two. And I think the entire thing padanta, the end of padanta, the entire thing goes till one one. Uh, 122. This goes till 122. Ati goes till 113. So if you have that, you can cross check in your book what you have here. This 110 does not seem to be right. In my book, book I have corrected it. So I just cross check. So what it says is Padanta goes till 122. So if it goes till 122 here, uh, then our sutra is what? It is 120. This Sarvatra Vibhasha Go is 122. So till this sutra, till this sutra is the anuvrutti of padanta. So padanta Vibhasha Go Sarvatra. Sarvatra is everywhere. Everywhere meaning what? Lagu says that for so shasti ekvachana Vibhasha is a Vibhasha. Vibhasha is va optional. What is the optional? पदांता अति एंग ऑफ पदांता अति हियर लोके वेदे सर्वत्र इज एक्सप्लेन एज लोके वेदे इन लौकिक प्रयोग एज वेल एज इन वेद लोके वेदे एंग अंत गोहती वा प्रकृति भाव पदांते सो पदांते पदांता हेज एन अनुवृत्ति हियर सो यूल गेट पदांता हियर हियर यू गेट एन अनुवृत्ति ऑफ पदांता पदांता एंड What happens is padanta ati. This <coughs> sorry this question. Uh, no, only the uh, the first two words go till one twenty two, and ati goes till ati goes till um, I think ati goes till one one. Uh, what is it marked as? 
Athi, Athi goes till 113. I think this may be right, but this 110 is not right. This is 122. Enga Padanta. Enga and Padanta both go there. Yeah, this goes till 113. That is how I have marked in my book. So it was corrected. Uh, I do not know whether uh, it's too. And uh, if you look at the Vyakya also, you know. In the, from the Vyakya, you know that there has to be an Anurutti. Because, see, what has happened is that if Sarvatra Vivasha Go is said, but here the Vritti says what? Loke Vede Chai Sarvatra. Engantasya. How did he get Engantasya? What is it saying? There is a Eng. Eng is coming till here. Now, if you look at the Sutra Patha, Sutra Patha says what? If the Sutra Patha had on, says only Eng goes and that to 110, that's of no use. We want Eng till there. Eng of Eng has to go till here because Sarvatra Vivasha Go tells you what? If Eng and Padanta is not there, Sarvatra Vivasha Go says nothing. Vivasha Go, what is the Vivasha? And this is 61122. What is the earlier sutra here? 61109. So, what happened between 109 and 122? We don't know what happened. So, you have to look at the sutra pata. See, one, uh, the earlier sutra was 109. Eng of Padanta Nati, right? So, from this sutra onwards, you have Nyasi Nyasoscha, Ruta Ut, Khyatat Parasya, sorry, Khyatyat Parasya, Atoro, Ruprita, Krita, Hashicha, all this Prakritya, all of these there, where nothing is useful here. In this Sarvatra Yuvasha Go, we don't even know what Avapatasi Cha, Anudate Cha, Kudha Pare, Anga Ityadu Cha, in fact, I have not studied these sutras. We have not covered this because these are very specific applications. You don't get much mileage. And you look at it, Laghu also skips through all these. He lands on Sarvatra Vibhasha Go after, after this Sutra. Eng of Padantadati. So what exactly happened? Of course, these Sutras have specific applications. They are in, uh, applications are in other Sandhi. Some other Sandhi Karya, which we'll, we see when, when we see them. In some derivations or in some Sandhis, Hal Sandhis. Uh, this is for Visarga, what, what Lagu will call as Visarga Sandhi, where uh, actually that is Sakara, Sakara becomes room and that room uh, is dealt with here. But in the Ach Sandhi Prakarana, Eng of Padanta Dati is the Ach Sandhi. What happened to this, uh, anything that comes from here till this Sarvatra Vibhasha Go, if this is an independent Sutra, this fellow is going till 121, this is 121, this is 116, this goes till 130. So we are interested in Prakrutya which goes till 130. Then what else is there? Before this, there is 114, 112, 112, 113, 110. If that is so, then 122 Sutra will have what? 122 Sutra will have Sarvatra Vivasha Go Ho Prakrutya and nothing else. What do we get out of that? Sarvatra Vibhasha. Vibhasha says optionally. Everywhere optionally go ho. Go can be Panchami or Shashti. Uh, whatever it is. Shashti, let's take Shashti. Or Panchami if you take then after go. After go something should happen. What is that happening? Vibhasha. Something should happen optionally. What is happening we don't know. Now Prakrutya. Prakrutya will see what Prakrutya means in a while. If you say optionally something to, has to happen. What is that uh, something? If you go further back, is there anything that has an Anurutti till 122? So you can scroll up. This so, Iko Yana Achi. Achi has an Anurutti till 125. So this is useful. Just a second. I'm sorry. So, <coughs> Achi goes there when Ach follows. So, all that we are getting is what? When Ach follows, follows what? Go. So, when Go, Ho and Ach come together, Go, Go and Ach come together, then something should happen optionally. Where? When? Everywhere. Sarvatra. But what should happen? We don't know. Where is the Adesha? So, where is the Adesha? So, if you look at Adesha, you have to search for Adesha. This is difficult to scroll up and down. Let me look up in my book and then show you where, what exactly is being said. 
so 61122 preferably uh, all of you should also look up the sutra patha and see 61122 which is our prakruta sutra and sarvatra vibhasha goho if you go up you need an anuvrutti which goes till at least 122 what is that samhitayam samhitayam is 6172 which says there is samhitayam vishay when there is a sandhi in the case of sandhi then you have achi from 6177 ikoyanachi that achi goes what else goes purva parayoho does not go ekaha does not go nothing goes so you can't find what is happening there now ing of padanta dati there that and from prakritya prakritya prakrityantah and uh, uh, these go till 122 and further so what what the vrittikara says now uh, what else is going prakritya prakritya is going so we saw prakritya is going here see we saw prakritya here prakritya in it goes till 130 from actually anta also goes i think not sure but prakritya goes this this particular goes prakritya and therefore in our lagu vritti what do we see he has taken this in lagu vritti he has taken prakritya prakritya enga enga padanta enga and padanta these are going this is panchami ek vachana this is enga see what is coming from here is padanta however uh, when an anuvritti is taken to some other sutra then the vibhakti parinama can happen here prakritya prakritya is which case tritya ek vachana engaha can be panchami ek vachana or shakti ek vachana padanta is definitely only panchami ek vachana however this can take whichever case whichever vibhakti based on what is the need here only the what we are interested is only the pratipadika pratipadika plus vibhakti panchami has an anuvrutti but this panchami vibhakti can take vibhakti parinama and here another vyakhyanakara says explains that he says that eng of padantad ati from there there is engaha has come here engaha in the sutra eng of padanta there what was it eng of padanta we saw this was panchami ek vachana and padanta this panchami ek vachana and they went together because there was an ekadesha in ekadesha you don't have shashti here ekadesha is for this panchami and shashti as for saptami what is mentioned in saptami so what precedes is in panchami what follows is in saptami and both of these are replaced by ekadesha ekadesha both have ekadesha here however the same padanta comes here in sarvatra vibhasha go but this padanta uh, enga padanta enga although is panchami and padanta is panchami still enga undergoes a vibhakti parinama and this panchami becomes a shashti now it becomes a shashti and then thereby it becomes shashti ek vachana now becoming shashti since enga hai shashti now this shashti will qualify goho because goho is also shashti so enga becomes a visheshana for goho and then loke vedeche is the meaning of sarvatra eng antasya so therefore enga takes a tadanta vidhi now you remember tadanta vidhi whatever is applicable for eng tas tasya antasya api bhavati so it is uh, it will apply even to its ending therefore not only for goho which is ending with ang go is ending with ang go is not ang go shabda is not ang go is ending with ang and not only that any shabda which ends with an ang anta go which is go not any ang anta ang anta which is go why ang anta which is go see go is of go shabda uh, go shabda go shabda when it decline it will decline like go go etc but in only in some forms you will get go 
in some other forms you you will may get gu go will become jaise uh, you will see an example further chitra gu in a samasa go will take hraswa desha and hraswa for okara although okara has no hraswa some other sutra says that okara hraswa will be okara ekara hraswa will be ekara okara hraswa when there is an adesha from the sutra then it will be okara or ekara respectively for okara and ekara and thereby go go shabda in a samasa in a bahuri samasa it will take hraswa adesha so chitragu there may be a word there can be a word called chitragu which is go which is spotted variegated so if you see chitra or a chitra as in uh, there are variegated spots so you see spotted cow you know you have white white and black spots on the cow uh, that's how the colors are so you have spots uh, a spotted um, cow will be called a chitragu it is not called chitrago it is called chitra uh, it will not declare chitrago it will take hraswa desha and then it will become chitragu so that chitragu for for chitragu which is ending with what it is also padanta okara shabda however the form is not okara anymore the form will be what chitragu so okara is there okara is not there therefore this sutra specifically says goho enga goho enga when they go together then the vritti uh, you see what is the vritti engantasya goho go which is enganta not any other go go shabda which has to remain in its okara ending form enganta and enganta means what eng is what a o a anta you don't get for go shabda anuvritti is there and eng although it includes a and o still go shabda never declines with an ekara ending therefore eng will always mean o o so eng antas is actually om antas om antas se go eng antas if even if you keep a, a ending you will not get you will get only o ending for go shabda therefore go ho ati va prakriti bhava padante padante this padanta has also undergone undergone a vibhakti parinama from six uh, from panchami it has taken vibhakti parinama and has become saptami okay this panchami has become shakti and this panchami anta has become saptami anta therefore it is padante in the uh, lagu vritti it is padante this padanta has become padante and that will become what it is padante ati now ati why ati that ach which is coming from earlier that ati will continue here it is coming from that so from eko yanachi the ach which is coming and the, I, elsewhere also ati will be coming from what this is from this padanta ati only you see this and thereby you see this ati here <coughs> since ati you can bring down this fellow itself i don't think this is also 113 this will also be likely till 122 or further maybe but we can mark this en entire thing as 122 because ati is there you don't get ati anywhere else where do you get ati 61109 after that do you see any ati there is no ati prakrityanta there is no ati here no ati here no ati so you can bring from the same sutra the entire sutra inga padanta ati has an anuvrutti till at least till here sarvatra vibhasha goho now when you bring that you will get what ati here you will get i'm sorry you will get ati also ati now this ati this ati will have ati saptami ekvachana it is saptami ekvachana already and this padanta is also um, padanta is taking saptami ekvachana so it says padante ati loke vede cha engantasya goho ati pare padante uh, uh we'll see this we'll see this in a while va va is the meaning of this vibhasha vibhasha meaning is given as va sarvatra is explained by loke vede cha and engantasya goho has come from this padantad undergoing vibhakti parinama 
and uh, sorry ing undergoing vibhakti parinama and going hand in hand with go thereby taking ing taking since it is a visheshana to go ho therefore it takes a tadanta vidhi and you get enganta engantasya since it is shashti ek vachana engantasya go ho for the go okara of go ending with o that go shabda by uh, by a vibhasha by a vibhasha means by uh, optionally it will take prakriti bhava what is prakriti bhava prakriti bhava means whatever is its form prakriti prakriti is a is a particular when you say prakriti it is prakriti it is his prakriti her prakriti means what it is very nature of the person similarly when you say shabdas prakriti bhava the way it is how is the word the, the word itself is go shabda go shabda prakriti bhava is okara itself so it will retain the okara it will retain its form as okara now uh, what does it say uh, prakritya so prakritya is coming that prakritya this prakritya is saying prakriti bhava what is prakritya by by prakriti by prakriti means in its very prakriti it will remain this is the idea prakriti avasthan prakritya avasthanam bhavati so avasthanam bhavati iti shesha you can add here i'll just add here prakriti bhavaha pad avasthanam bhavati prakriti prakriti bhavaha avasthanam bhavati This is what Bhaimi says that prakriti bhava avasthanam bhavati iti shesha. It has to be supplied to understand the vritti. So he supplies that. He says that's how you understand the vritti. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, further something else to be seen. <coughs> okay, examples. <coughs> Avastha means it will remain. Avastha. Avastha with a lute pratya. Avastha is what? Its state. And avastha is bhave. So it will remain it, it will remain in that state. Which state? Prakriti bhava bhavati. Prakriti bhava. Prakritya avasthanam bhavati. So this prakritya avasthanam bhavati is prakriti, prakriti bhava. So prakritya Prakritya avasthanam bhavati. That's how the prakriti bhava has to be understood. Avasthanam is its state. It will remain in that state. That avastha. And what is the avastha? Its very prakriti is the avastha. And prakriti is what? Go shabdas prakriti is go okara. Okara ending. So it will remain that way. <coughs> Meaning what? Now, what is being said? What is the adesha? Adesha is actually its prakriti. Its prakriti is the adesha. No ekadesha. There is no ekadesha here. Prakriti is the adesha. Now, see, we'll, it will be more clear in the example. We'll look at the example and then it will be clear. clear. So, example is go agram. <clears throat> so, and there is a sandhi between these two. Go and Agram. What is Go and Agram? Gavam Agram. Example is Gavam Agram. Shashti Tatpurusha Samasa. When you do a Shashti Tatpurusha Samasa, so what Gavam? Gavam is Go plus Am. Am Pratya, Shashti, Bhavachana and Agram. Agra plus Am. Plus Su actually. Su is Am. So is replaced as with am in neuter. So you'll get what go plus agra. Go and agra. When go and agra, what is this uh, sandhi that you expect to happen here? When okara is followed by akara, what should you get? What is the uh, sandhi rule that you know of? If you didn't know this sarvatra vivasha go, what sandhi would you do? Ati pare, achi pare va. Okara, what sandhi will you get? Anyone? <coughs> I'm sorry. 
How guna ma? Guna sutra is what? Ad guna ha. Do we have a here? Ad avarna? Not avarna. Guna sandhi is only ad guna ha. Avarna anta achi pare guna sandhi bhavati. What will you get? Echo yavayavah. So when you get echo yavayavah, echo yavayavah prapte sati. When echo yavayavah is prapta, that time sarvatta vibhasha goho gives the prakriti bhava. Prakriti bhava is the apavada when go shabda specifically, which is eng anta is equal to o anta. Ong anta ha or eng anta ha go shabda followed by an at. At is what? Atipare. Atipare is Akaradi Pare. So you say Akaradi Pare. When Akarado Pare. Akarado Pare. This A is At. Akara it is. And not A is not following. Agra is following. But A, if you say A is following also, okay. Akara is following. But otherwise Akarado Akaradi Shabda. When it follows, but we can say only a. Uh, you see, it is not a. Uh, don't have to go further. So ati pare you can say go ati pare kim bhavati prakriti bhava. What is the prakriti bhava? Go itself. So you'll get go. It will remain. There is nothing else. What happens to this akara? Nothing has been said. So it will remain go agra. And then you add su. You'll add supratya su, which will in neuter will be replaced by am, and you'll get Go agra, go agram. It will become am, and then you will get go agram. No sandhi. What is the sandhi? Prakriti bhava is the sandhi. So this is how the word will remain as go agram. Now something else is also there here. Um, <coughs> if you do not take the vibhasha, what will happen? If you do not take this, optionally it will be. Optionally, if it is going to take that, if you don't take the sandhi, what will happen? You expect HOAYVA to happen. But HOAYVA will not happen. Something else will happen. We will see that it will be. Uh, we have seen that sutra, sorry. Engaf Padanta Dati. So if you don't take that Vivasha, you get Engaf Padanta Dati. This is one form. There are actually three forms. One form we have seen. Second form is Enga Padanta Dati. Since this Okara Padanta, see here also Padanta Danuti is there and earlier also Padanta is there. Can anyone tell me is how is this go in a Samasa Padanta? Is this Padanta? This is Padanta, Gavam is Padanta, but is go also Padanta? Because we have applied. It is Padanta. Does anyone know how? How is it Padanta? Only Padanta uh, when go, Okara, Eng is at the Padanta, then only this Sandhi should apply. Whether this Sandhi or optionally, going back to the option, uh, not taking this option, if you go back and you apply Eng of Padanta Dati, then also Padanta Eng. Padanta Eng Eva. But go here is part of the samasa, gavam agram. But go is this padanta or not padanta? How do you know that go okara is padanta or not padanta? Here it says it is padanta, sandhi is applied. Does anyone know why? It's important. So I'm. Uh, if you do not know, it's okay. I'll mention it anyway. But does anyone remember why? I mentioned this earlier. Yes, no, some answer please. So it is go, but see go plus, what is the definition of Padam you know? Does anyone know what is the definition of Padam? How does anything get a Padasanya? 
Suptingantam padam, right? So Suptingantam padam, this, this, does this have soup in the end? Yes, it does. Gavam agram, gavam is also subanta padam and agram is also subantam padam. So both are gavam agram are both are subantam padam. You have a shashti samasa now and thereby you say go, this is a laukika vigraha. A laukika vigraha is go plus am plus agra plus su. This is the alaukika vigraha. Now, you do sup look of this. This is a padam. Go plus am is a padam. Agra plus su is a padam. When you drop this, when you drop the pratyas by a sutra, the sutra says what? Supodhatu pratipade kvayoho. Look bhavati. And look is equal to adarsha, adarshanam, lopa. Look shlo luka. Uh, all are lopa only. Uh, all are allegiance. Technical name. And they affect uh, what karya will happen based on whether it is shlu or look or whatever or lo paha. Here it is look. Whenever something is taken away, pratyaya lo paha has happened. Pratyaya lo pe pratyaya lakshanam. So here you say here supting antam padam. These are, this is a padam by supting antam padam. This fellow will go, am pratyaya will go by sup look. Supodhatu pratipadikayo supluk bhavati. Within a pratipadika or a dhatu, sup, both these sup, all sup are taken away. Sup pratyas. However, even when the sup has undergone lopaha, elision, even then pratyay lope pratyay lakshanam. When pratyay has gone, still pratyay lakshana will be there. Although it is not visible, adarshanam lopa, it is just stopped to be visible. Just because it is not visible, adarshana has happened, does not mean that its lakshana has gone. What is the Lakshana here? It has given this Sanya of Padam. Pada Sanya it has given. So Go is also Padam, Agra is also Padam in this Samasa. Because Sup has come and then it has stopped, ceased to be seen or heard. But still its Lakshana is, remains and Go is a Padam. Therefore only in Padanta, being a Padanta, Okara, Enganta at the Padanta of Go. <coughs> Go Shabda, therefore this Sandhi is applied and similarly Inga Padanta uh, Ati will also apply and you will get Go Gogram. So I will remove this Avagraha, you will get Gogram. So what are the two forms now? First form is, first form is optional form is Gogram. Second form optionally is what? Gogram. Go Agram or Gogram. These are the two forms. Now he says why did the uh, sutra say Enganta, Enganta Sya. See, Enganta, Engaha has become what? Engaha in Shashti, in Panchami it was. From Engaf Padanta Dati it was Panchami Ekvachana. Now it has become Shashti Ekvachana. And then since Engaha and Go go in Shashti Ekvachana, they are in Samanadi Karanyam and Engaha is a qualifier, is a Visheshana to go go. Then it has taken Tadanta Vidhi and Enga has become Engantasya in Shashti Ekvachana. Engantasya. Engantasya Kim means what? Why is Engantasya said in the Sutra? Engaha said in the Sutra. What is, what is the use of bringing Engaha from Enga Padanta Dati into Sarvatra Vibhasha Goho? What will happen if you don't, don't use Engaha? That is the question. Because Go you know it is Enganta. Why do you need Enga also here? Because Tadanta Vidhi has to apply. If you don't apply Tadanta Vidhi, Enganta Shikim, if Enga is not there, then what will happen? He gives a counter example. This is a counter example, which is what I was saying, Chitra Guru. So, uh, maybe a little tricky to see. Chitra Guru is the example. What is the example? Chitra, Chitra Guru. How do you get this? So, uh, Chitra maybe. Let me check uh, <coughs> what will be the Bahuri Vigra here. <coughs> uh, chitra Gauyasya or Chitra maybe. May not be Chitra because uh, then Go will be feminine. In which case you will not get the Raswa Desha. Just give me a moment. Uh, 
okay okay yeah so uh, i'm sorry yeah uh, it will not be feminine bahuri um, um, my mistake okay not a good time to study <laughs> sorry so chitra chitra ha uh, chitra ha uh, gau shabda difficult declension so chitra gavah gavah yasya sah so person who has lot of spotted cows so uh, chitra gav not gavah gavah chitra gavah yasya gavo yasya so chitra gavo yasya yasya purushasya so one one who has this a cow herd or a cow herd who has lot of spotted cows a cow herd or the owner also sah chitra so chitra chitra ha why because uh, cows are many so therefore chitra ha chitra ha will become chitra chitra gavo yasya <coughs> sah chitra chitra go it will be because go shabda chitra and go chitra is the pratiparika and go so both will come together in a samasa <coughs> i'm sorry when they come together in a samasa chitra go will be the combination no sandhi just varna melanam now since this is a bahuri vigraha then what is the linga of chitra go chitra go will take the linga of this person whoever is the bahuri anya pada pradana anya pada pradana being that this will take the linga of the uh, gender of the anya pada anya pada is a purusha pullinga therefore it will take hrasva desha okara does not have a hrasva really however in the sutra pata uh, there is an adesha whenever uh, i think uh, echa uh, ikhrasva deshe if i remember right so ya echa ikhrasva deshe so ik is the hrasva desha for h a o i o if there is a hrasva desha what will be the hrasva desha adesha hrasva for that whenever there is an adesha that you make a hrasva for h h is a o o o a o i o j so a o and i and o all are nitya dirgha they may have pluta but uh, ekara okara aikara aukara are dirgha they do not have hrasva at all how can you make hrasva but uh, there are hrasva adeshas given so for example in this bahuri there here there is uh, there is a sutra gostriyo upasarjanasya gostriyo upasarjanasya there hrasva adesha is given how do you make hrasva where hrasva does not exist so for that another sutra is given by uh, panini muni that uh, echo echa ik hrasva adeshi ik is the hrasva adesha whenever ik is the ardi hrasva adesha two adeshas ik e and uh, u so for okara u okara or aukara u is the adesha and for ekara and aikara e is the hrasva adesha therefore technically they are hrasva adesha in this sutra pata so this fellow will become now chitragu you will get chitragu and it will decline like uh, guru shabda guru hu guru guravah similar chitragu hu chitragu chitragavah this is how chitragu will decline what does it mean a person who has spotted cows does not mean spotted cows it is a person who owns spotted cows so what is the sandhi here now when you say chitra guru chitra gu this is in brackets i'm just explaining what is chitra gu mean but what is the example chitra chitra gwagram so is it chitra gwagram yeah it is chitra gwagram so chitra chitra gu and agra chitra 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 gu agram in a chitra gavam agram what is in front of many chitra gus many spotted cows that is another shashti tatpurusha between chitra gu and agram there is a shashti tatpurusha and when you are deriving this chitra gu now when you are deriving this samasa what should be the sandhi between these two gu is a go shabda but it is not of the form of form of enganta it is no longer enganta if it is not enganta then you cannot apply this sandhi and make this fellow as go you cannot do it 
Why? Because Enga has been read into the Sutra. By Anurutti, Enga has come in, therefore Enga antasya guho eva prakriti bhava bhoti na anyasya. Na anyasya means what? Enganta which is not. And Chitragu is not Enganta, it is Ukaranta now. Although it is a Goshabda, still it has taken Samadar Adesha, Raswa Adesha and there has changed its forms, it is no longer Enganta. Enganta Goshabda it is not. Chitragu. Enganta Goanta Shabda it is not, it is Chitragu Ukaranta. Therefore, here whatever applies will apply. And what will apply here now? Ukara and Akara Sandhi is, is Yana Sandhi. Iko Yanachi, who is Ik, ik uh, Pratyaranta uh, Antargata and Akara is what? Achipare. So Iko Yanachi, Achipare, Ikaha Yanadesha Syat. So therefore you will get uh, Yan for Ukara and Akara together is Vakara. So you will get Chitra Vagram. Chitra and then Vagram. And thereby Vakara is the Adesha here. And you will get Chitra Vagram. And that is the reason why Engantasya has been read into the Sutra. I uh, will just take one more minute and finish this. Padante Kim. Padante Kim. Why is Padante? See, I said that Saptami, I will explain this Padante here. Only when Padanta, only at the end of the Pada, so Padante has been read here. In the Vyakhyana, it says Padante. Padante Kim. Why Padanta has been, Padante has been said. So for that example is Goho. What is the example here? In this example, Goho, Go Shabda plus Nyas or Nyasi Pratya. Sorry. Nyas or Nyasi. Nyas Os Am or uh, yeah, Nyasi. Nyas Os Am or Nyasi. This is what Saptami, Panchami or Saptami Ekochana. Panchami, or not Panchami or Shashti, Panchami or Shashti Ekochana. Supratyas are added. When they are added, both, both will have the content is what? Us. So you will get what? Here you will get us. Go plus us. Now this go is a Pratipadika. Unlike in a samasa where uh, pratyay lope pratyay lakshanam thereby suptingantam padam is retained. Here this entire thing is padam because suptingantam, supantam means what? This sup ante yasya. Yasya, yasya kasya shabdasya. So go plus us when you, when you put them together it will become a uh, pada, subanta pada. But go itself is not a subanta pada. It is not a padanta. Therefore padante only this sandhi will apply. Which sandhi? Sarvatra Vibhasha Goho. Here it will not apply because Go is not a Padanta. Go is a Pratipadikanta. Here Okara Enga is Pratipadikanta. It is not a Padanta Okara or Go is not at the end of Padanta. It is not the Pada at all. Therefore, here it will not apply. And here what will apply then? Go plus A. Thus, what will you get? Uh, Goho. I think here it is not. Example is Goho. Here it is Goho. So here whatever applies, I'll uh, not do the derivation. But you will get Go plus us. Nyasi. Because uh, there are other sutras also applying. Nyasi Nyasoscha. And uh, through that sutra. We have not seen this sutra. We will see in the uh, whenever. <coughs> so you will get Nyasi Nyasoscha you will get a Purva Rupa Sandhi. So I will just show you, since we have uh, seen this section, <coughs> see, Nyasi Nyasoscha, this Sutra applies, and when Nyas or uh, Nyasi or Nyas, just please, please uh, excuse me for a moment. <coughs> Sorry, too much of cup today, dry cup. So, too much of disturbance in the class, I'm sorry. So, Nyasi Nyasoscha, Purva Rupa. So, a Purva Rupa Sandhi will apply here. This is in the Purva, there is a Purva Rupa Sandhi. And what will happen when Nyas or uh, Nyasi Nyasoscha, when this follows, then 
पूर्व रूप संधि इज ओकारा देर फोर अकार एंड ओकारा बोथ आर रिप्लेस बाय ओकारा एंड यू विल गेट ओकारा ओनली सो गकार ओकारा एंड अकारा स दिस संधि बिटवीन ओकारा एंड अकारा एंड इन डेरिवेशन दैट संधि विल बी ओ पूर्व रूप एंड देन दैट इज दी एकादेश यू विल गेट गो एंड दि सकारा Sakara at the, at the end of the pada. Since this supting anta pada, it is a pada. Sakara becomes visarga at the end of the pada, and you will get go. What you will not get, it is a counter example. It is not an example for this. It is a counter example explaining this. This example explains why pada anta has been said. Because other than pada, pada anta for that kind of okara, this sarvatra vibhasha go will not apply. And why is? Uh, Eng, eng been said in that is because go, which has lost its okara form, ending with okara, that kind of uh, go, for that kind of go, the sandhi will not apply this rule, and you will not get sarvatra vibhasha go. There is a third form to this, which we will see in the next part, ha, and that is the reason uh, lagu kara brings in many paribhasha ka sutras, anekal shit sarvasya nitya, and then he wants to explain this avam. Spotayanasya. This will bring another form in the Go Shabda. See, these sutras are new for me, as in uh, not these sutras. Anekal sutras and nitcha are very useful, but in the context in which it is applied, that is very rare. Because how many times will you come across Go Agram these kind of words? But it is good to know. And since uh, we are studying Lagu, we'll study uh, this Anekal sutras and nitcha are important sutra. Among Spotayanasya. And what we saw just now, uh, these sutras, Sarvatra Yubhasha Go, they are not so important sutras. If you understand it, well and good. If you don't remember it, well and good. Don't worry about it. Let's stop here. I took uh, quite a few minutes more. Vritavasane Nataraja Raju Nana Dadakkana Panchavaram उद्धर तो काम सन का दिसिद्धा नेतर विमर्शे शिवसूत्र जालम तत्सत इन्हीं को